I'm Anil Kumar and now we will discuss question number 2 from 2015 quiz on functions. Now this question is relating revenue cost and profit. So let's have a look at this question in details. The question is a revenue function can be described by the equation r of x equals to minus 2x squared plus 10x minus 5 and a cost function can be described by the equation c of x equals to 2x minus 4. The value x represents the number of units sold in thousands. Determine the maximum profit and the number of units that need to be sold in order to maximize the profit. Right? So what is profit? So we know profit function is revenue takeaway cost, right? So that is profit function, right? So we can write down the profit function from these two given. Revenue is minus 2x squared plus 10x minus 5. Takeaway cost function. It's good to write it in brackets, right? Then we will open the bracket and simplify. So we have minus 2x squared. 10x minus 2x is 8x. We get 8x. Now we have minus 5 and minus and minus becomes plus. Actually it is minus 5 plus 4. So which gives us minus 1. So be careful at this stage, right? So when you do minus of cx minus 2x plus 4, that's what you get, right? So minus 5 plus 4 will be minus 1. So that is your profit function. Now we need to determine the maximum profit and the number of units that needs to be sold. So for that, let's do completing the squares method, right? So for completing the squares, we'll take minus 2 common, put square brackets. We get x squared minus 4x. This number, keep it separate, right? And then we have to do half of this, correct? x squared minus 4x. Half of 4 is 2, so we'll add and subtract 2 squared minus 1. And as you know, the first three terms form a perfect square. That's the whole idea of doing this, completing the squares. So we get minus 2. And we can write this as x minus sign from here, 2 from there, square. Minus 2 square is minus 4, square brackets. Right? So now we'll take it to the right side and then solve further. So we have profit function p of x as equals to now let's open this bracket. So minus 2 times x minus 2 whole square. Minus 2 times minus 4 will give us plus 8 minus 1. That is minus 2 times x minus 2, sorry, minus 2 times x minus 2 whole square plus 7. That gives you the profit. Now this is a parabola which is opening downwards kind of like this, right? where the peak or the vertex will be at x equals to 2 and profit as 7. Is it okay? So that is the position of the vertex. So that is the solution. Determine the maximum profit and the number of units need to be sold. So maximum profit is how much? So we get maximum profit equals to Units are very important. So let's read the question once again. It says the revenue function can be described by this and the cost function can be described by that. The value of x represents the number of units sold in thousands, right? Determine the maximum profit and the number of units that need to be sold in order to maximize profit. So we are assuming a dollar value here now and number is in thousands, right? So numbers are in thousands. So let us say so we are saying two units because they are not really giving us units of profit. Maybe a typing error from my side. So maximum profit is seven. We really don't know whether it is thousands or what, right? Now, and the number sold is is x value, which is two, and two is two thousand, right? So we can write two thousand units. Okay? So, so that is how we can solve this particular question, right? So that is how we can do it. So basically write down the profit function, which is difference of revenue and cost, and then complete the squares to find the maximum for the given function. 
I hope that helps. Thank you.